Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and you join me here in Computer Tycoon. We've moved on a few months since you were last with me. And as you can see, the world isn't quite so purple as it used to be. Yet yeah, Mr. Big keeps ducking and diving and stealing, albeit sometimes temporarily, uh, some of my more important markets from me. Though to be fair, also IBM the green guys, uh, have been nicking a few every now and then as well. I think for one brief moment, they were the major player in China. But I, I, I dismiss them eventually. So where are we looking in terms of dominancy as of this point in time? Yeah, there are, there's really, there's two players really, isn't there? There's, there's William Big and myself, Alana Slade. Only a few percentage points between us in terms of global computer sales. Uh, Mr. Mr. Big, Mr. Bright, <laughs> IBM, he's still there. You know, he can, he can, I think he's got enough behind him to every now and then cause either of us some problems in terms of the numbers sold. And you can see how well I've been doing over the last couple of years on the balance sheet here. Where, yeah, I mean, from 1979, we made 122 million in profit. Last year, sorry, 1980, down to 60 million. Last year, 1981, barely 15. In fact, it's just under 15 million. And this year, we're currently running at a loss. And that's because Mr. Big has been playing sneaky. Uh, what I've had to do every now and then, uh, if I go into my computer list here, uh, I have occasionally had to reduce my prices. I'm not reducing the base price, I'm adjusting the discounts I'm giving to the poorest people. In, because that's where they appear to be targeting my market. Uh, if we look at these prices, if you look over here at the bottom, towards, toward, towards the bottom right, you'll see their poverty and poor prices. They're, they're, uh, they're, in fact, big uh, IBM is doing a very similar thing. I'm keeping track of those, so I haven't been wholesale price cutting. Every now and then, I've been undercutting them slightly so I don't lose too much money, but we're still making enough. The other thing I have done with my computer is I have increased the marketing. We're going crazy marketing at the moment, which is costing me over a million a day. Yeah, it's ridiculous, isn't it? But that does have an impact on the number of computers you sell. So I do need to bear that in mind. Uh, although it's expensive. So what I've also been doing is I have been bumping up, as we can see here, some of my buildings. I'm adding in a few more cheaper laboratories, like in Sri Lanka. So I've now got 11 research points, so I can make sure I'm keeping at least abreast, if not ahead, of the competition. And a few more marketing buildings. Uh, yeah, we're doing that all quite nicely. And logistics. We're about to run out of logistics points, I think. Actually, just let me just check that. Where's logistics here? Have I actually got any that I'm not making full use of? No, I think they're all, as you can see here, 100% used in each logistics office. Yeah, we could increase one or two of those again, I think, to give us a few more LP points so I can sell into more places. Uh, we have at the moment only one factory which is actually producing anything, which is our big level 5 factory in Peru. Just keeping up with demand, but I'm about to build a new computer, so we will bring all these others into play as well, because demand takes off when you bring in a new computer. So what have we got in terms of technology to bring to the market for our next level machine? Uh, we've got the UPS, we've got the microphone, both of which are accessories we can add in. We've also got the mouse, although we do not actually yet have a graphical user, uh, user interface or an operating system. So, not quite sure how you use a mouse with a command line uh, OS, but hey, I'm not going to ask any questions. We've also got the alkaline batteries, but we can't use those yet until we get to the portable computers technology stage. So that's just a research we, we did by the by. But the main one we've got at the moment is 1.5 micron, which significantly reduces our manufacturing costs. We're currently researching 8088, the CPU. Now, in fact, I think if we look at the hardware for CPUs, I think both 
I don't need that one. I don't need all my old CPUs. I'm still running on the 8080. But I think both big, yeah, they've got the 8088 and IBM. They've got that as well. So in terms of performance, they're outstripping me by a, well, a lot. So um, I will catch up with them shortly, but that's going to be a, 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 a few weeks away at least. But we can get another machine out before then. I think. But basically, I think in terms of our general technology, we're still pretty much ahead in terms of feature set. Yeah, 291 against their 270. In terms of prestige, yeah, we're in the mix. We're doing quite well. Uh, likewise, in quality, we're all pretty much for muchness there. But in ease of use, again, I've just got that slight edge. So we're going to make use of that. Right, so anyway, let's uh, get on to implementing our new technology. Of this research we've done, the only one we need to spend money on is the 1.5 micron. So we're going to be building a new CPU, a new motherboard, a new memory, and new video card using this latest technology, which should make it cheaper for us to produce than either of these other guys. Okay, let's copy this one. And we're going to take out the 3 micron which gives us a production point need, a manufacturing cost of 235. Put in the 1.5, a hundred less, that's impressive. So what we could do is, can I take that up? Yeah, I'm still a long way behind their performance because I've still only got the 8080, but that's okay. We've got loads of good stuff in there, nonetheless. Um, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that because we're reducing our costs in our other components as well. So we, we're saving money anyway. So that's our new CPU. Uh, new motherboard. How are we doing in here? Oh, we've got the latest motherboard. And it is always the best motherboard. I like that. But we're going to produce a new one anyway. Without the 3 micron, we're going to go 1.5 micron. Uh, we won't call it 11. We'll call it our 12th. Uh, we could we could add features and quality again to this. Just a little bit. I think. Yep, that's good for me. That's still a good deal cheaper to produce than the old one. And we have a new memory. Uh, okay, they've uh, they've actually well, big has got uh, Sims now, which we don't have yet. That's coming up soon in our research queue. So again, they've got a performance boost from that. Uh, actually, what have IBM got? Oh, they've got big multiple. Oh, they've got big numbers there, haven't they? That's okay, but we don't need to do that. Well, we could, but we're not going to. I need to copy this. It's going to be our seventh. We're going to put a medium. No, we don't. Not going to put a medium fan on it. We're going to put that on. Ooh, we've got multipliers now. So, what was our cost before? One five four, one two eight. That's okay. Performance is good. Capacity. Can I take that up a touch? Can I make that? 6.3, so it's a bit better than the others in, t in that sense. We're still okay. We will reduce the multiplier slightly. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Again, performance, we're still waiting on the SIM and the 8088 chip. So that is good. And finally, a whole new video card. Uh, I think we're pretty much all in the same ballpark there, apart from quality. Why have they got quality? What well, I haven't got. Could be the small fan. What have I... Uh, yeah, it's the small fan. That's what they've got. I don't want that because I don't want the noise, because that's, that's what I'm avoiding on mine. So let's uh, take the 3 micron out. Oh, I need to copy it first. Remember to do things in the right order, man. There we go. Our eighth. I'm taking you out. I'm putting you in. And how are we doing? 
our performance. Oh, we need the multiplier. If I boost that up a bit, and the multiplier. Okay, we're still cheaper than we were before. Uh, what else can we boost in here? 57, 57. Uh, No, we're not going to get much more feature out of that. Everything else is pretty much the same, to be honest. My quality is still... Because I'm not putting the fan on. If I put the fan on, I get a huge boost in quality. But I don't want the noise. I'm avoiding that. That's okay. We're selling machines nonetheless without all that. That's good. It's a bit cheaper. We will take you. Right. Now, our new computer. We'll take you. We will go to design and we will copy our old machine. We're in 1982 already, so this is our first one if this year. Accessories, we'll put everything on this one. Another huge feature boost, that's good. Uh, our memory will boost you up. Our CPU will boost you up. Uh, graphics card has improved again. And so has the motherboard. That is looking good. Uh, can we compare that? Well, I need to change this. That goes in the design mode. So how does that compare with my existing units? Yeah, capacity is good. Feature set. Oh, I'm, yeah, leagues ahead of them. Prestige, that will build up when we go through testing, ease of use. Oh, I've got this. I've got this. Definitely. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Uh, we can price this. We'll probably price it around the same, actually. But I will reduce these discounts for the poor and the poverty market areas. I'll take you down. I think you'll probably say like 65. No, let's make you 55. Okay, there is that initial burst of interest, so I want to get as much money as I can up front in case I suddenly start losing it again, as we have been doing recently. That looks good to me. Again, look at this, I'm top dog in many of these areas. That is awesome. So, uh, marketing. What I'm going to do, actually, let's, let's skip out of here just for a second. If we go back to the world map, um, no, let, let's go to our computers again, actually, sorry. Let's uh, go back to the computer list. On our previous computer, the last two or three, we have been selling mostly to workers. You know, half a million compared to 200 million for the other classes of, of 200,000, not million, good grief, man. Uh, yeah, so we're selling mostly to workers, which is fine. There's obviously enough of them, but if we go into the individual markets I'm selling in, workers even in China aren't that aren't the majority class of buyers. In India likewise, uh, not, uh, where's that, Algeria? Yeah they're a big proportion but they're not the major. So what I'm thinking of doing for marketing this new computer is focusing on the casuals again as we did for our first few machines. So we will go to casuals. Uh, features are important. That's important. That's, it. that's excellent. So that's fine. That's a good mix. We'll start with just a... a there's not much difference really is there between medium and big. We'll start with a medium advertising campaign. I think we'll, that's what we will do. Uh, just to minimise our costs for this first period where we sell it almost everything anyway. So we'll get you ready to go and we will test this one. Your new computer model went into the testing phase. And my lovely assistant confirms that for me. Why, where's my LP gone? Have I clicked on something I didn't mean to? Oh, bother. Right, um, that's, that's, ah, where did I, where did I click? I obviously wasn't paying attention somewhere, so I've now got minus one LP point, which incurs a cost. But we will address that by building another logistics office somewhere. I'll bother. <laughs> so, 
Um, we could... Where have we got... Uh, have we got just a level one anyway? Uh, yeah, we can upgrade Malawi. And indeed the UAE. Yeah, we'll put uh, logistics in there. Uh, we could increase the office in South Africa. That's fine. I think we will do that. That will catch on. And we're still we're losing a, a fair amount of money each day, but it's not huge amounts. So we can again just tinker with our factory to keep that production down. I'm not going to reduce my prices anymore. To be honest, we will take care of that. My new computer will recoup all this. Of that, I am certain. Oh, we've got the 8088. Your building upgrade no. has completed. <laughs> so, you well, have researched a new technology. I've suddenly got 11 LPs. Wow, I, I could, wow. Where can I use all those then? Uh, let's go, no, let's just go here. Let's have our look at unused markets, uh, which are actually open to us. Uh, let's sort them by population. Myanmar, Boy, they, they like perf performance. Who likes features? Oh, Kenya. I think Kenya will love my machines. So we will put an LP. I'm already, am I already in there? Uh, unused. Hmm, not sure what happened there. <laughs> Uganda. Yeah. They are okay, I think. Put one in there. And where else can we go? Which quite likes features. Burkina Faso. And why not? We'll put one in there. So we've got seven left. We've got loads to play with. Okay, we're still losing money. We're selling a fair number, though. Let's have a quick look at our research. What's in the queue at the moment? TV interface uh, sim. Oh, actually, I could bring the sim up, couldn't I? No, go, go down. That's it. I want the TV adapter. That gives me a new display option. Then, yeah, I think the sim will be good. Oh, ROM actually. No. Your new computer model is polished. ROM gives me lovely performance. So we have a new computer ready to go. Let's have a look at that. It's a prototype now, not in design. So how does it compare? Oh, it's an absolute marvel. The prestige is off the scale. Ease of use, likewise. Quality, yeah, not quite so much. Performance, again, not quite so much. But I, yes. Metho oh, let, before I release it, let's get all my factories producing again. Let's have to go through all these. It would be nice if there was sort of a tick box or something somewhere which said put everything back to 100% operation or close everything down. Especially when you're like me and you've got dozens of sites. Well, I'm not sure I've got dozens, but a lot. To make this operation a little bit easier. Okay, that's all my factories, isn't it? They should all be up and running, I think. So I can now release my... Actually, let's go to the world map and watch this change colour. Let's get these out of the way so you can see more of it. Let's release the most impressive computer the world has ever seen. Only 25 million people want to buy... Well, 25 million demand points. It's the same difference, isn't it, really? That is awesome. Okay, 19. <laughs> Fewer. It's amazing how quickly they drop off. Right, let's get rid of our old machine. We don't want to market that beast anymore. We'll archive you. That'll save us some money. What do the reviews say? Everyone loves it. Absolutely everyone loves it. I am producing too many, of course, now. So, actually, I want to stay on the world map. I want to see it change colour. That's better, isn't it? Nice and purple. Very nice, very purple. I've got 40% of the global market. Oh, am I going to overtake you? 
Am I? Yes! We are top dog again! Awesomeness. <laughs> okay, I am massively overproducing though, so let's get some of these factories out of use. And we'll take you out and you out. And you. That's the thing with the level 5 factories, they produce so much. You hardly need any other factories. Oh, that is good. I like that. It's a lovely colour. Uh, I've learned something new about marketing of my computer. What is it? Um, it could be. Yeah, one of these has got. One of these has gone down. Yeah, there was a question mark on here. I'm fairly sure, wasn't there? Actually, let's go to a big marketing campaign and see how that changes. The demand is 13. It's going up slightly, which is fine. Which is fine. We're earning two, nearly three million a day. Ah, oh, this is so good. I like this a lot. Okay, so we have now researched the TV interface adapter, which gives us a new display option. Three million a day I'm earning. <laughs> I'm loving this. Uh, what we'll do is we'll, we will wait for the ROB cartridge to come through. We might produce our second computer of 19. Oh, but now we're losing. Ow. Okay, what's happened? IBM's produced a new computer, a cheap computer. That is outrageous. And what have they got? Ooh, quality. They got prestige. Um, performance. Yeah, I, th I think they are doing the price they're, they're doing the price gouging thing aren't they yeah they are significantly cheaper than me for well for everybody basically so how have they done that what uh, what technology do they have oh they're still running on three micron the motherboards three microns okay I get they they go with the tactic of in, in, in most terms, apart from things like the memory here, they reduce their, their quality of their feature set. Well, they've also got the mouse and stuff now. Cancel. There you go. They're time sharing as well. Ah. Interesting. Interesting. But I'm not going to worry about that too much. My market has dropped off though. So can we increase our marketing? Let's go huge. Am I getting any of that back? I'm now losing a million a day. <laughs> Not so good. Not such a good plan, that. Okay. And we're down. Yeah. We can cut back production for a moment. We're still doing quite well. Oh, we're back in profit briefly. Okay. Can we sell... Oh, my goodness me. What have they... <sighs> That's not on, is it? I'm ooh, by far the leader there, but they have captured the market by going cheap. The US of A, for example. 7,000, 5,000. China. They've done it again in China. Uh, nope, that go China. 17,000 to, to 13,000. Okay. Can I reduce my prices? I probably can, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm quite pricey. Oh, even big. They've cut their prices a lot. So let, let me yes, let's let's do some of my discounts. I think. So we will bump that up to say fifty-five. We'll make that sixty-five. Does that make a difference? Oh yeah, I'm selling a lot more now. Yeah. I've added another million or two demand points. But we're still earning loads of money. Very impressive indeed. Interesting though that, uh, yeah, they, they're, not, they're not coming up here in the dominancy chart. But they are here. So the amount they're selling isn't that much more than everyone else. Or any other individual player, basically. I think... 
once we've yet yeah, once we've got the ROM cartridge, cheap and great. Yeah, nobody else is playing now. You see, there's a little light blue there. Was that massive modules? Yes, it was. We've got Dator down here. Uh, where's Brutal Data actually? Is there anywhere that um, Brutal Data is selling more than anybody else? <laughs> It doesn't look like it. Oh, who's, where's that? Is that Nepal? Oh, Bhutan. Massive money. They've got that too. Okay. Um, am I in Bhutan? No, I don't want to build a site. I just want to sell there. No, I'm not. Um, how big a country is Bhutan? Oh, let's, let's sell them computers anyway. Yeah. Half a million people, if that. And they've just gone purple. That's fine. <laughs> they've got Europe. But the percent, the amount they're selling more than I am, for example, can't be that much. And bigs, they, they, they've just been shoved aside. But still no sign of brutal data. Wherever they are. I mean, they are everywhere as well. But they're just not making it. Oh, yes, they are. There they are. <laughs> Somaliland. Oh, shall I steal that too? Uh, what does Somaliland... Ease of use. Oh, I'm good at that. Yes. Uh, let me take a point in Somaliland. You have researched a new technology. There you go, Brutal. There you go. I, that, that's cruel, really, isn't it? <laughs> but that's the cutthroat world of international computer business. Oh, everything's purple. A lot of things are purple again. Splendid. We have got the ROM cartridge and we're getting SIM. I'm not sure how long SIM will take to research. Why am I keep clicking the wrong thing? I'm just so excited at being a world leader. Yeah, nobody else. I think it looks like it is just big computers and IBM that are doing research these days. Well, certainly at any particular speed. It's those numbers aren't reducing. Oh, cadmium batteries. Ah, no, rifle bearings. We'll add you while we're here. But the rifle bearings could be good because they are a very quiet heat reduction technology. Yeah, you see there where the medium fan, it takes away five heat, but gives you seven noise in exchange. Though it does give you a lot of quality, whereas rifle bearings, 10 quality, they only take one heat away, which isn't a big issue for me at the moment, as we know, but reduces noise by two. And I'm not sure if you can put, if that replaces, if rifle bearings are used in addition to the fan. I honestly can't remember. Probably not, but we shall see that when I unlock them at some point in the nearish future. So we're doing that. How are we doing with Sim? That's going to take a while. So do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to keep this episode relatively short. And it's just a, an interesting... I'll pause it here so I can get this as a screenshot kind of thing. It's how the world has changed here between a two-way split where Big had a lot of countries and I had a lot of countries. And there's a third competitor in the market now. Oh, this is nice, isn't it? That's that's nice. I'm so much bigger than you. Do you remember a, uh, I, again, I don't know how international this was. There was a Harry Enfield character from back in the kind of 1980s, I think, uh, where it was heavily influenced by the pernicious wealth capitalism culture that Margaret Thatcher imposed upon our country. And his well, he had two characters. One one was loads of money, uh, who was the plasterer, and this other guy who was considerably richer than thou. That was I. Sh I shouldn't attempt an accent because I cannot do them. Um, yeah, uh, considerably richer than you, uh, couple. And yeah, being richer was everything. Uh, in this case, I am by the look of it. <laughs> well, of a bigger percentage. Not quite sure why I went into that little sidetrack, but hey, so I did. Right, we're going to leave this here. We have got the ROM cartridge coming up. We've got the TV. We've got the 8088 coming up in the next episode. 
So I, I think if nothing goes wrong, then the next episode could be where I firmly establish myself on that unstoppable path to complete domination of the computer sales market. Yeah. So, I hope you've enjoyed this particular episode of Computer Tycoon. If you have, it'd be great to hear from you. A little bit of a like would be lovely. Even better, though, if you've got any thoughts, any observations, hints and tips, criticisms even, of what we're doing in the game, then please do drop a note into the comments box below. It's awesome to hear from you. And, of course, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, you could do that now. And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, here in Computer Tycoon. Until the next time, bye-bye for now.